Hi folks, my name is Robert Crome. I'm going to come to you and explain to you exactly what happened during a 2015-2016 school year to my daughter. I'm going to give you the grave details. You're going to, I'm going to read to you the emails. There were back and forth between me and the Kenai Peninsula Borough School District. There was contentious times throughout the whole entire year. I'm going to explain to you why they did this. The reason why they did this was first off is, is about money. Second off is, is, is that the staff at Seward Middle School, they were very at odds at how to implement the IEP program. Next thing is, is this. This was not just done to one child. There's evidence that this went on to other IEP children. There's also grave evidence that this one teacher assaulted educationally her whole entire class. Now I'm going to explain to you why is this important to me. I too was a child, but back then we didn't have IEP plans. I had a learning disability. I also attended the Kenai Peninsula School District. I can remember this very day when I gave up on school. See, I had my chair in my classroom put outside. I was choked by teachers. I was slapped by teachers. I had a high school administrator tell me and convince me that school was no longer for me. And that's what I need you to understand. I was that victim of the Kenai Peninsula School District. And I'm not going to tolerate my child being a victim either. And none of us as parents should have to expect the Kenai School District to continue this let's victimize the children, protect the teachers, and not tell the public what the teacher did. We as the public give grave faith in our school districts and in our teachers. Look, I understand that there's a lot of fantastic teachers out there, and I support those teachers. I've seen them. I've seen them put a lot of hard work into children. But we have that small percentage of teachers, and that's what this is, case has started to become, was it became one teacher, and then it became evident that it was a, backed by the administration that this conduct was okay, and it became widespread throughout the school. I want you to understand that I'm not here to pick on just some little issue. This is a massive issue because when I went to school it happened and still today it's happening that's wrong. See professionals when they call themselves a professional teacher they understand the law, they understand the rights and they understand their duty. The duty to not only to the child, their, their student, but to us, the parents. And right when the Kenai Peninsula School District blatantly hides teacher misconduct, that's where I have a problem. When the school district won't step out and say, ladies and gentlemen, we've had a teacher do grave things that has not only failed our policies as a school district, violated our policies as a school district, but has also mistreated students. And when they turn secret and they don't want to tell anybody, and they make threats like, if you say something, Mr. Crone, we're going to take actions by suspending you from school property. That's bullying. That's straight up, hey, we have something to hide and we don't want nobody to know about it. So I want you guys to understand that this is about my child. 
and your child. And this is about a district that covers up the evidence about what happens in their schoolrooms. Why? Because they don't want to be held responsible for their teachers' actions. They don't want you, the public, to understand the gravity of how sad it is in the classroom for our students. We need to realize that we as parents have to now hold the school district totally responsible. Our superintendent has been absolutely a no-show in this whole entire matter. I want you to understand this. Our greatest assets as parents is our children. It's not our home, it's not our RV, it's not our boat, it's not our business. It's our children. That's why we had them. And to see somebody to say, I am professional, and come in and to harm our children for money, well, that's the deal. That's where the line's been crossed. And today, I'm going to explain to you just how big of a paycheck staff the Seward Middle School really has. And that they don't care about your student. They didn't care about my student. They violated the law. They violated her rights. And most of all, they left her in a state of confusion. They left her a year that she still does not understand of pain. She doesn't understand why she got violated. She doesn't understand why it happened to her. These staff members intentionally went out of their way to harm my child. Now we're not talking about physical harm. We're talking about educational harm. We're talking about like a machinist. You have 12 machines and you're supervising these 12 machines. But you want your boss to fix machine A because machine A has some issues. So what do you do? You dial it back just enough to where it looks like it's a massive problem. That's right. So right when the boss starts looking at the data, the boss realizes that there's a serious issue with machine A. Well today, I'm going to explain to you by just doing that to convince your boss is exactly what happened to my child. They did it just enough to where it harmed her and I caught them. And again folks, I want you to understand this. I'm coming to you because this is educational assault. This is just like you taking a baseball bat hitting your child. This is wrong. Today we have people in movements like Black Lives Matter, the NAACP. We have all these groups out there fighting for stuff. The problem of it is there's nobody fighting for our children. Because when we told it's time to get up and fight, the districts run and they threaten us. Folks, I'm not afraid of my district. I'm not scared of my district. Most of all, I'm pissed at my district. I'm pissed because they harmed my child. So with that, please take a few moments, get some stuff together, pencil paper, a pencil, and get ready to take some notes. And by the time we're done, you're going to just see the kind of damage they did to not only my child, but to other children. So please take a few moments, stop now, and uh, get, get your stuff together. Because what we're about to do is to explain some of the greatest stuff that happened during the 2015 and 2016 school year at Seward Middle School. And why the Kenai Peninsula School District does not want you to hear this. I thank you for your time.